What if I told you Venom's biggest battle yet is about to get even crazier? The final trailer for Venom The Last Dance just dropped, and it's packed with a jaw-dropping reveal. Null, one of Marvel's most terrifying villains, is making his grand entrance. What's his name then? Null. With power that rivals Thanos and a dark history that's nothing short of epic, Null is set to shake things up in a way we've never seen before. Are Venom and Eddie Brock ready for this cosmic level threat? Hey folks, welcome back to Cinemamu. Big news in the Marvel world. Sony is taking a major gamble by bringing Null, one of Marvel's most intimidating villains, into Venom The Last Dance. This isn't just any bad guy. Null is so powerful and terrifying that he's often compared to Thanos. His symbiote powers can literally tear the universe apart. But here's the burning question. Is it a smart move for Sony to make Null the main villain in this film? I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Think about it. In the comics, Null has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of Marvel's heaviest hitters, Thor, Silver Surfer, and even the Avengers. So the idea that he'll only be fighting Venom and Eddie Brock seems a bit off. Shouldn't Spider-Man or the Avengers be stepping in for a fight of this magnitude? They were running. For it makes war. you wonder if Sony will do Null justice or if he'll end up being a letdown, like Gore the God Butcher was in Thor Love and Thunder. What if Null is just a cameo, though? Maybe his full power will be saved for future Sony projects. That's a pretty juicy speculation to chew on. Stick around as we dive deep into Null, the cosmic entity now making waves in Venom The Last Dance. Dive in with us as we break down what Null's arrival means for the film and why this might just be the wildest ride yet. Null, stop speaking. You should probably know that I have a really dark... The latest trailer for Venom The Last Dance gives us a peek at Null, and it's clear this film is about to get seriously intense. Venom, who's been our what? main anti-hero, <laughs> is gearing up to face Null, a villain of epic proportions. Since Null first showed up in Marvel Comics, he's been known as the Dark God, the creator of all symbiotes and the ruler of the Living Abyss. Sony's latest trailer ramps up the tension. Despite the mixed reviews of the Venom films, they've outperformed other Sony Spider-Man universe movies like Morbius and Madam Web, which didn't exactly set the box office on fire. So it's no surprise that Venom has become Sony's go-to character for their Spider-Man universe. You keep knocking people out? What is wrong with you? With the third film on the horizon, fans are buzzing. Especially after seeing the new trailer, Sony has dropped a bombshell. Null is the new threat to Earth. The stakes have never been higher. But before we get too far into Null's role in Venom, The Last Dance, let's rewind and dig into his backstory from the comics. Where do you have to make a sacrifice? Null started out as a god of darkness in the void before the universe even existed. He was chilling in the dark until the Celestials, cosmic beings who create light and life, crashed his peaceful existence. Null wasn't having any of that and fought back hard to restore his darkness. To take on the Celestials, Null forged a powerful weapon called the All Black, the Necro Sword. With this sword, he took out gods who tried to mess with his domain, including some Celestials. This sword became a symbol of his power and destruction. But even after his victories, Null ran into Gore, the God Butcher, who snagged the Necrosurd and used it to hunt gods, as seen in Thor, God of Thunder. During his battle with the Celestials, Null found the Living Abyss, a force that let him create symbiotes creatures that can bond with hosts and control them. He built an army of these symbiotes and spread them across the universe, linking them with a hive mind so he could control them all. Null didn't stop there. He even made dragon-like symbiotes to help conquer new worlds, including Earth. Thor managed to take down two of these dragons during their attack on Earth. This led to a revolt among the symbiotes, who then trapped Null on his home planet, Clintar. The symbiotes began to see themselves as a separate race, distinct from their creator, but Null's story didn't end there. Eddie, my own, has found us. He was freed through the conflict involving Eddie Brock, Venom, and Carnage. Null regained control over the symbiotes and began his plan to destroy worlds once more. He wrecked Clintar and rebuilt his army. 
Noel's destruction didn't stop there. His sights were set on Earth, leading to an epic showdown with Earth's heroes, including Sentry. After a brutal fight, Null was defeated when Eddie Brock, revived by the God of Light and given solar energy, took him down. In the comics, Null's main power comes from his control over the Living Abyss and his ability to command symbiotes through the hive mind. He can create new symbiotes, lead huge armies, and spread terror across the cosmos. His physical form has godlike durability, healing, and strength. Plus, Null can harness dark energy for powerful, deadly attacks. What's fascinating is that Null never seems to truly die. Even after being beaten by Eddie Brock and the God of Light, his consciousness lingers in the symbiote network, meaning his threat isn't completely gone. Null's powers also evolve over time, so in Venom The Last Dance, he might have new abilities and skills we haven't seen before. Now, the trailer for Venom The Last Dance hints that Null's story might differ from the comics. While he's still the symbiote ruler sending his minions to Earth, his motivations seem more personal in the film. There's a scene where Venom tells Eddie that Null wants something from them, though what that is remains a mystery. We have something he needs. This could be why Null is targeting Earth. Maybe he's after something he lost or wants to eliminate a threat to his power. Patrick Mulligan, who appears to be hosting the symbiote Toxin, looks like he'll play a big role. The trailer suggests Noel might communicate through Mulligan, hinting that the hive mind will be a key part of the story. As long as it lasts, everything will end. So the big question is, will Noel be the main antagonist in Venom The Last Dance? Or will he just make a quick appearance like Thanos did in the early MCU movies before becoming a major threat in Avengers Infinity War? If it's the latter, this film might just be setting up Noel for a bigger role in future films. This world can't survive. That's a wrap on our deep dive into Null's role in Venom The Last Dance. What do you think? Will Null be the epic villain we're hoping for? Or will Sony drop the ball? Creator. Of course. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you're hooked on Marvel's Cosmic Chaos, you've got to check out our latest video. We're digging into some sneaky Easter eggs from Deadpool and Wolverine that might just lead us to the Scarlet Witch's epic return. Click the link to uncover these hidden gems and see how they could shake up the Marvel Universe. Hit that like button, share with your fellow Marvel maniacs, and make sure to subscribe so you're always in the loop with the freshest updates from Cinemamu. I'm with you to the end. And see you on the next one. Bye.